I'm here with Naomi. Can you tell me what's been going on with the fashion? Oh my God, so much has been happening since I had the baby. Uh, basically, back in Fashion Week and I've been backstage interviewing loads of designers. I've been doing a lot of stuff for loads of different publications. Um, I've got my own bag collection coming out. Tell us about the bag collection. Well, that was a bit of fate as well. So basically, I love handbags. I'm obsessed in handbags and I was sent some bags from a design duo called Bricks and Bailey. They sent me loads of bags. I loved all of them and I was using the Fashion Week so I was getting pictured with these bags all the time. I've always wanted a handbag collection um, so basically we discussed it and they were like... Their dreams have come true for you. They really have. I'm now, I've just become brand ambassador for a big hair brand as well so I'm filming quite a lot in 2016. Not six. So we're going back in time now. Back to the um, so yeah, it's really exciting, loads is happening. Ultimate Lifestyle is, my online magazine is growing. And check me out on Twitter and Instagram. Twitter. So you've had a baby. How do you find having a child and having such a powerful role within the fashion industry? Because you've got to be busy, you've got to go to those events, running around. Do you find it quite difficult to like juggle the two? It's definitely a juggling act, but I'm naturally quite hyperactive. You're a multitasker at heart? I'm a multitasker. So I love being busy. I get so bored if I've got nothing on and I love juggling the kids. The There's so much going on. So it's good for you to have like a constant challenge where it's not easy. Yeah. You're not in your comfort zone. I like to be out of my comfort zone. Oh my God, last week I was so out of my comfort zone. So why is that? I was filming for a beauty brand, but it was a product that's completely new to me and it's not really the area that I'd normally be focusing on and I was a bit out of my comfort zone but I did my research and I nailed it so I was all good. And then afterwards you feel a real sense of achievement don't you? Yeah I mean it's really nice when you put a lot of work in and knowing that you've got kids at home and you're working because I want you know I want to be able to provide for them as well. I want my kids to think yeah mum can do that so can we.